Hello everybody and welcome to a new video and welcome to my channel where we talk about everything music from death metal to queen and everything in between. On today's video we'll talk about Daddario's newest strings, the Daddario XS strings for your electric guitar. As some of you may know, they actually have been making these strings for acoustic guitars, but they just came out with a new line for your electric guitars. And as a Daddario artist, yours truly was actually lucky enough to get some of the first strings that ever came out. Okay, so let's back it up a little bit. So for the longest time, my favorite electric guitar strings were these guys right here, the Daddario EXPs, which were coded and were awesome. They lasted forever. And because of the fact that I play a lot of guitars with Floyd Roses, I love a long lasting string because I don't have to replace the strings as much. Changing the strings on a Floyd Rose can be a pain. So I love a string that lasts forever. And this was it. But sadly, Daddario decided to do away with them. And they actually came out with three different new lines for electric guitars. Of course, they kept on making the XLs, which are the regular old Daddario strings, but they added the New York XLs or NY XLs, the XTs, and the all new XSs. Now, all three of those strings are actually treated, so they're built to last. So, what changes between them? Well, basically, the treatment. I actually got the chance to talk to my friend Beto, who is the artist relations guy for Daddario, and we got into a conversation with a lot of very technical stuff. So I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with it, you can look it up online if you need to. But what I can tell you is that the New York XL and the XT and the XSs are all treated, they just have different treatments. And this has the most treatment out of all of them. Now when I say treatment, I mean that it's treated so that it lasts longer without rust, and so that it keeps the new string feeling and tone for the longest time possible. Okay, so like I said before, these are actually my favorite strings so far, but these are supposed to take over, so we'll see. Fight. Luckily, I bought a bunch of this and I stocked up when I knew that they were gonna do away with them. So I still have a few of these, but I'm very excited to try these out. Let's get these bad boys on a guitar and let's check them out. All right, so here we go. This is the guitar with the new strings on it. Well, new strings. Here's the thing. I actually decided to take a while to get to know the strings a little bit better and give me a chance to play them before making a review. And you know, one of the big strong points of the strings is the fact that they actually last a little bit longer. So I want to test that out before making this video. So at this point, the strings are about, you know, 10 day old strings. And I gotta tell you, they actually held up pretty well. Check this out. As one of my friends best described it, they're very lively. You actually do get a lot of harmonics, a lot of harmonic content that you don't really get on other strings. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of the first things I noticed once I popped the strings on is that these strings are very loud. And that can be a really cool thing, but if you're a clean guitar player, you might need to back off, you might need a little bit more headroom on your amplifier, especially if you're playing a tube amplifier. You might want to back off the gain, or better yet, just lower the volume on your guitar and you're good to go. Because you might get a little bit more grit than usual. It's just going to happen. These strings are going to drive your preamp, for sure. Now because of the fact that these strings are actually louder, you actually do get a little bit more sustain, which is really cool, I do appreciate that, for those really awesome heartfelt notes. Even acoustically, you can actually hear that. You do get a lot of sustain. Another thing you're actually going to notice is the fact that you might need to turn down your gain on your interface. I actually noticed that because of the fact that the strings are louder, you actually get bigger waveforms and that can cause distortion in your mix. So you just gotta watch out for that. If anything, just lower the volume or lower the volume on your interface and you'll be good to go. These strings will definitely push your interface or your preamp a little bit harder. So that can be a great thing or not. Your call. Okay, so other than that, mm. Okay, so other than that, let's talk about the packaging and the look of the strings. They look beautiful. Apparently, after 10 days, they look about as shiny as they did when they were new. 
So that's really good. They really held up. And they changed the colors on the ball end. Now they're gold, black, and silver, which is kind of cool. I mean, I'm really used to the regular colors, but it does look more elegant, more top tier, if you know what I mean. And now what you were probably waiting for, the feel. Now, as far as the feeling of the strings go, they really feel really good, but they do feel different from the regular old Tadaria strings. They are bendy. They are very bendy. They're very easy to bend, which I do appreciate, but you do get a little bit of that slick, that coated kind of feel on the lower strings. And that might actually feel a lot better or worse for you. I mean, if you've never played any coated or treated strings before, they're definitely going to feel a little bit different. I mean, they are silky, so that's a good thing. And you don't get that noise. I mean, not as much anyway. See, if you compare that to a regular string, that would have been a lot noisier. This is very, very soft. It's soft on your fingers too. Now, I actually don't mind that because I'm kind of used to it. I mean, between the Dadario EXPs, which are my favorite guitar strings, and the Elixir acoustic guitar strings, you know, I'm kind of used to that, you know, coated feel. So that's good. Now, the main difference I found between these guys and the Elixir strings is the fact that these are not coated, they are treated. So unlike the Elixirs, these don't flake out. And that's a really cool thing because even though those are my favorite acoustic guitar strings, I do hit the strings a little bit harder on the electric guitar than I do on the acoustic. On the acoustic guitar, I tend to play with my fingers over the very soft pick, but in the electric guitar, I actually play with 2.0s, which are very heavy picks even 2.5s, and at one point I played with 3.0, which is a huge pick, I don't do that anymore. But yeah, I do bang the strings pretty heavily. And these do feel like the elixirs, but they don't flake out. So overall, after 10 days of playing them, I do really like the strings a lot. So now, like I said before, watch out for them being loud. They are going to overdrive your amplifier a little bit faster and easier. But on the other hand, you do get more sustain, which is really cool. And if you play metal or anything with like heavy distortion or like a lot of overdrive, they're actually going to help you achieve that clear overdrive a lot faster. <laughs> Anyways, thanks to Dario for always innovating with new strings. You guys are awesome, and I am damn proud of being a part of the family. All right, guys, so that's a quick review of the Dario XS new guitar strings. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please drop me a like if you did. Please drop me a comment in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel like a man if you haven't yet. I'll see you guys next time. Pat out. Middle on, dudes. Yeah.